a military tribute at the Greenbrier, the opening event of our brand new 1920 wraparound schedule. Scotty Scheffler coming up from the Corn Ferry Tour and making big putts, a 37 footer to get to seven under par. Joaquin Neiman, young man from Chile, very talented amateur and now looking to make his mark as a pro. He makes the birdie at 18 to get to 10 under par. Back to Scheffler in the fairway at nine. Finishing hole, the old white TPC in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. So from 118 so yards, a little spin, and it's just two feet from the cup. He'd make the birdie to get to 13 under after two days play. Neiman now at four. Also on the front side to finish, just shy of 90 yards to that back flag, and that leaves a three-footer to get to 12 under. Kevin Chapel, boy, did he have a day. Looking for birdie at 18, this from 28 feet. And Kevin Chapel on a roll. He had birdies from 11 through 18. Think about that. He would have a string of eight straight, and then he'd add one more to start the inward half. Another birdie at five, and all of a sudden, we're on a 59 watch. Joaquin Neiman, let's get back to him at five. Neiman makes that, grabbing a share of the lead at 13 under par. Our day one leader was Robbie Shelton. He shot a 62, and now looking for a share of the lead, birdie chance at 15. That one's in from 24 feet, and he gets to 13 under, right alongside a couple of others. But Kevin Chappell, after a 71 on Thursday, that for a 59. Unbelievable turnaround round for Kevin Chappell on his way to the first page as he's three off the lead after that 59, the 11th sub 60 score in PGA Tour history. And he is right in the thick of things as we head into the weekend, Saturday's coverage beginning at 1 p.m. Eastern.